Good morning dear friends. What a wonderful day God has given us. Let us be grateful and thankful to God and let us dedicate ourselves for his service and that we may glorify him and he will be pleased. I would like to meditate with you this morning. In fact, the next two morning today and tomorrow or the same subject. And uh, it is titled Made Dumb through unbelief this is a story of a zachariah the priest recorded in the gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 22 according to the order of a priesthood zachariah's time came to enter into the temple and remain there um for many days to fulfill the duty of a priest and uh, on this occasion one day one of his days suddenly inside the while he was inside the temple he had a vision he had a vision of an angel standing before him and greeting him and then made an amazing announcement the angel said sakaraya your prayers have been heard and in next year this time you will have a son from your own wife and both of them were barren and they have been praying for a son and the angel was sent by god with the answer to their prayers though both of them were overaged they have passed the age of uh, of the ability to uh, bring uh, bear children and so they must have given all the hope and uh, to this announcement sakraya reacted to the angels and said how can it be my wife is overaged and i am old as well and at that point the angel of the lord got a little upset and told him i have been sent by god to convey this message to you and because you refuse to believe that it is possible you will not be able to speak until the son is born and suddenly he was stricken by dumbness he couldn't speak but he continued his uh, priestly ministry and it is significant to note that sakaraya did not flee from uh, his uh, a duty or from the presence of the holy smiter though the angels uh, smote him with dumbness why such a severe punishment it is because sakraya instead of believing he doubted though he had examples to recount and then put his trust and faith he had the example of abraham and sarah he had the example of manoah and his wife who were the parents of samson and he also had the example of hannah in the book of samuel all these people received children supernaturally by the intervention of a god in their desperation so though sakaraya was smitten one thing noteworthy is he did not leave his priestly duties until his time was over He remained faithful although this affliction came on him unexpectedly and suddenly. 
And one more reason. He should not have doubted the angel's message from God since he was praying for a son. And because he was already praying and the angel brought the answer to his prayers and he, he failed to believe, he was smitten. Now the lesson here is if you pray, do not doubt and worry. Okay? If you pray, do not worry but believe. If you worry and doubt, do not pray. That's why somebody says, if you worry, don't pray. If you pray, don't worry. Both cannot go together and you can expect to experience the miraculous. Anyway, one good thing in Zechariah's favor, he took the punishment and continued to serve the Lord until his time came to leave and go back home. What is the lesson? We should not be too engrossed in our trial, even if the, if the trials are severe and sudden. I hope you got it in your mind. And sometimes we can be so engrossed in our difficulties and in our situations which are not very favorable. We forget all other things. We even forget the, uh, how God has miraculously intervened in your situation in the past. Like the people of Israel. Though they had seen and experienced the amazing uh, miraculous wonders and signs God performed in order to bring them out of Egypt. In the wilderness, throughout the wilderness journey, they did nothing but grumble and doubt and get punishment. What a sad thing it is. And my friends, no matter what happens in your life, do not allow your situation to interfere with your commitment to serve God, love Him, worship Him, and bless Him. That we should not neglect our service for God at any cost. If some of you are listening to me, you are serving God, please remember this. That will be a failure on our part. Zechariah continued. That is one thing good about him. Continued until his term of service was over. He did not neglect his service. With all his afflictions and pain, he remained faithful. And he did not run away because of his situation. That is a good lesson for us. Though his punishment for doubting was severe, he blessed the Lord and blessed God's people by his service for which he was dedicated. And in spite of all the severeness of that punishment, still he put God's service first. Though blinded, he still ministered to the people and remained faithful to God and his service. We will continue this tomorrow and see what other lessons we can learn from Zechariah's experience. But today's lesson, we may be praying for something we know is naturally impossible. 
but never doubt and pray believe the promise if you have a faith and believe and do not doubt you may speak to this mulberry tree be uprooted and be planted elsewhere it will happen because we serve a supernatural god of impossibilities remember he intervened and he d- does only that which is impossible for us to do and that he will do only if you do what is possible for you to do remember that and when you pray do not doubt when you pray you pray with thanksgiving that he is still on the throne and he is still lord and he is still the wonder working marvelous amazing god with whom nothing is impossible is anything too hard for the lord no you may be praying for something you think is almost impossible you may be praying for your husband to change because you are troubled by his attitude and his practice uh, his uh, behavior but this morning i want to tell you that god is still god your circumstances may change but he does not change and his promises never change he is faithful so trust him and believe do not doubt if you pray the answer will come and you will be ready god bless you tomorrow we will continue and i pray this morning that god the holy one will look upon you and see you are struggling and when situation becomes too bad and you are not able to believe I am encouraging you by the authority of God's word that nothing is impossible with God it depends on your faith you see God always Jesus always did his miracles in response to the faith of the people hallelujah he is still the same God wants to do the same thing for you he loves you and he knows you He is just waiting to see how faithful you will be in trusting him. Father, I thank you for blessing and helping my listeners to put their trust in you on the basis or on the ground of your word which declares nothing is too hard for the Lord. Thank you, Father. By believing, we may experience the miraculous and thus glorify you in name amen god bless you my friends as you put your trust in god and believe for the impossible this is a wonderful day for you to live have a good day and don't spoil this day amen